Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so what we're going to do here is we are going to cover how to, well, we, we've already covered in the past how to load, open, and close the volume and the file, loading the handle to the file, and then we load the file and read it. What we want to do now is we want to actually return a value from a file. Basically, calling a, we're going to say that we're calling a function from a file. Technically, that's kind of what we're doing. So, yeah, um, okay. So let's go ahead and get onto that. Oh, and if you need the source code, it's right here. You just click that, there you go. That way you can follow along. It's number 14. Okay, uh, well, here, I'll just make sure that you see that. So, 14, here we are. All right, so I'm gonna minimize that. We're gonna open up this and that. And let's take a look at what we have here. So, before we get started, um, we have, this make file that has been updated for this tutorial 14 okay so the next two videos you will not see this update it will still be using the original uh, make file that's because we're not using the kernel in the next two videos but in a later video we'll go back to this because we'll need to start compiling a kernel so i just wanted to let you know this is updated and thanks to deadbeef for that he's uh in our discord channel uh, good guy. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Now, this in the bat file, if you don't use the uh, if you don't use the make file in the bat file, this is the line that's been added. Okay, and what we're doing is we're just taking this code that's here inside this folder, and this is the name of the file that we're looking at. Notice that's all that's in there, and uh, it, we compile it and give it this name once it's done. Okay, so nothing really fancy there. Then in here, we, I added this so that we move both uh, files, the EFI and the bin, both to where they need to go. Now, this will go to its normal spot in here, but this actually will go to the root. That's where this is. It's the way I've designed the code at this time. You can add a path if you want to, and to do that, you would add the path right here, okay? Um, okay, so that's done. In the C libs, we're going to be utilizing this right here, and so that we can get a decimal number back. And the decimal number that we're going to be returning, oh, by the way, in case I didn't mention this last time, uh, the compiler required that to actually work. Okay, um, we aren't actually using it, but the compiler is using it for some weird reason. It's one of the flags in there, so that's why this is here. Anyhow, and, and this also means that we can use it if we want to. Anyhow, um, so since we're going to be pulling a number, we're going to be using that right there, all right? And it takes a base number, which is where that comes in, and then, of course, we give it a buffer that we're going to deal with. All right, so closing that. This is the number that we're going to try to come back with, okay? Um, all right, so first things first. First, we initialize the file system, which, if you recall... That's basically where we set up the drive and mount it, we mount it and all that good jazz here. That's where all this comes into play here, okay? Um, it's just set up as, a, um, an, as an initialization. Once we have this, then we're going to open the file, which comes up next here. And we're going to get a return back of an EFI file protocol. This is basically just saying, hey, we now have a new file handle. Okay, that's what that is. We are using this as our buffer. All right, it's a handle name to the pointer of our buffer. This is what we're going to fill up. Now, the space that we're going to allocate for it is 4K. That's what this represents here. So the F size is allocating the pool of 4K space here and we're saying oh this is going to be an EFI, uh, EFI loader data that's one of the enums and you can actually look that up in the EFI header file and we are saying okay take this handle allocate this much space for this for that handle so that when we go to load this in we're going to read this all right so before we read it and we've already allocated the space, 
So we need to go, okay, well, here's the file. All right, we got the handle, here's the file. We need to set the position to the beginning of the file. Because the cool part is you can actually set the position in the file of how much you want to read from that spot forward. So that's why it's good to have this handle. All right, so, and this, by the way, is inside the CFI protocol. You can look that up again in here. All right, so once we set that at the beginning, then we read the file. And basically, we just read the file into that buffer. It allocates 4K space, so there it is. It's reading it, 4K's worth of space. So it'll basically fill it in with uh, zeros if the file is smaller than 4K, which it actually is. So actually, we'll take a look by compiling that and taking a look here, and it's 720 bytes. So we're really wasting space, but where there will be a future video where that will be all dynamically allocated based off the actual file size. We'll take care of that in a future video. So we read it in, read it, read it in here. We get a status, make sure that it works. Then we go, okay, well, what is the beginning first five bytes of this file? We want to know what the file signature is. Well, let's take a look. There it is. This is what we should be seeing. There's the first five bytes that we're going to display. One, two, three. Oops, I'm sorry. These bytes. Um, and this right here represents the x86-64. Remember, these are reversed because it's little Indian over here. So, um, and in fact, if we choose big Indian, yeah, that's not, that's not changing. So I think it's because it's already a little Indian. So we're just trying to adjust and make sure that we're in a line with the file. Um, okay, we're not on a Mac. Remember, Macs, Apple, they use big Indian. Uh, the x86, however, uses little Indian. So this 8664, you can actually look up in the actual uh, PDF specs. That actually is in there, okay? Uh, we're just not gonna look at it today. So that's this, this first five bytes is what we're gonna display. All right, I'm gonna minimize this because we're gonna come back to that in a second. So we display that here. And what we're doing is we're saying, okay, we're gonna create another handle to basically a pointer to this handle because we don't want to manipulate this we don't want to change anything with this so we can change the pointer and the pointer will go okay well we have the beginning of the file we'll just keep moving forward on the file as we're pointing to it and that's basically what this is all about here and as we advance we go to the next character and we go up to five characters so that's what that's about we print a space then here we go supposition again, just like we did here earlier. But this time it's going to be to this spot here, 262. And basically it's like, uh, uh, let's see here. We're, let's see if I can find that right there. All right. So it's basically this spot right here. This is where we're going to be. We're technically pointing here, but then the CPU fetches here next. So we're reading the next five bytes here. This is what we'll be seeing on the screen. So let's see here, minimize that. And basically what this is gonna be doing is it's gonna be calling this, num um, this command going, okay, we want you to return, and these are opcodes, return opcodes. And if you scroll down and you can actually see, we're moving whatever the number is um, and then returning that number, okay? And you can actually read that. Let's see, I can't remember, this is a space, right? Yeah, so yeah, I believe that's what that's all about right there. So we're moving and then returning basically, and the number that we're going to be uh, moving and returning, well, let's find out. Whoops, there we go, let's move this over. Okay, so the number here. Well, let's take a look at one, see what this number is in hex. All right. So we're going to say decimal to hex. And there it is. So we take that, go here, and convert. Now, this is only showing an odd number, so we have to put in a zero in the beginning. So we take that, 
cut that out of there. We're going to minimize this. And uh, let's just say this is what we're going to be looking for in hex. All right. So let's take a look. Now, remember, this is going to be completely backwards because it's a little Indian. So the first number we're looking for is basically 0, 05, but it's going to be right here. So it's now ignore this first five. That doesn't count. So the zero is here, which is basically ignored. Remember, I had to add that. So we have five, five, and then another five. And remember, this is backwards. So five, five, and then a 93. Are you with me so far? So we have zero, five, 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 93. And that is our number right here. I'm going to make that bigger so you can see it. That is our actual number. That's decimal converted to hex. All right, so let's put that back. So this is what we're looking for, and that's what this right here is basically saying, hey, return that number. All right, so that's the number we're going to do, take care of. So we'll just go ahead and save that, go here, um, and it displays it here. Now, the cool part is, is that what we're going to do is we're going to set up a message going, okay, the number is, and we're going to return that number using our little uh, transformation of a number to a, an actual character, and we'll print it right after this. So here, so what's this for? Well, basically, we're setting up the alignment first, because remember, Microsoft standards. So we're setting up the attributes here so that we can align between the EFI file versus the actual uh, kernel file that we're going to compile here, which is actually this right here. All right. So we're taking the external buffer. We're going, OK, from the position that we set, which in this case will be a nine. And we want to read beginning from that spot. And we want to call and align from this, what we're calling a function. What does this represent here? What's this all about? You can think of this as if it was int main like that. That's basically the same thing that we're just doing here, OK? And then we're taking it as if it's a function, and we're calling it. So it goes out, grabs the number, and then returns that number to G. And that's how we display it here. And that's it. That's, there's not much else to this. So let's take a look at this. Let's get this working. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Um, and we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and delete these two just so that we're starting fresh scratch here. So we're going to compile this. We're going to mount it. There we go. Got it. Close that. And where are you? I know you're here. There we go. And we'll go ahead and start it. And if everything's good, we should be good to go. All right. Hit any key and voila. Remember the boot signature right there. And there's the 89. And there's our return number. So yeah, it's all working, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next tutorial and uh, have fun.